This one's for Porky. I've had a good day today, Porky. And uh, I've just decided to set, make myself a snow plow for a, a bit of order in COVID. So we'll give it a quick run. It's, it's starting to become loose because I bought some cheap gaffer tape off eBay. It don't work very well, but I'll just give you a quick run. We're skidding a bit, Bob, but we'll go. All right, Steve, hope you're well, mate. I've done that. Uh, so I hope you... Uh, Put it out Sunday. I'll send it to you next hour, mate. All right, pal. Peace out. Just been out in sweatsuit, mate, doing a bit of training. Spencer Fearon needs to watch out. <laughs> Cold this morning. Uh, hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Big P here from Porky's Corner YouTube. You've obviously all tuned into Boxing Asylum. So I'm going to do some every week on a Sunday for Asylum lads to help them out help them give them a big push so feel free to show your hardcoreness and just contribute you know just contribute a couple of quid these lads have been doing it 10 years for nothing they give the time up they all know the boxing don't they they're all hardcore except smido you're a casual but uh they all know the boxing they've put the time in so help them out because you know if the, if there were no boxing asylum on a sunday you all be like that, wouldn't you? So I've been thinking what to come up, and I think we're going to call this Porky's Grill. Sometimes you get like a Porky Roast. Well, this is Porky's Grill. We say the things on Porky's Corner that not many others dare say. So I've jotted a few things down here, and think today we're going to talk about the Bean Masons. The Bean Masons have got two new members. So I'm going to go through the list and I will point out the new me the new uh, members. But first of all, let's go straight in on the mole in the hole. Davinda Caldwell. Eddie's eyes and ears. Woo, woo. Anything that happens reports back to Eddie Earn. He's like the Sammy the Bull Gravano of Rotherham. It's shocking what's been going on. I mean... We've already got the Dave Caldwell Sunday sermon, haven't we, on a Sunday where he does about five, six interviews and just gives his opinion. Well, boxing's uh, going to be on a Friday, isn't it? So we're going to have the Dave Caldwell Saturday, Saturday, Saturday service. Do you know what I mean? Dave Caldwell, come see me, you wrong un. You know what you did to Javi Gavin McDonnell and Jamie McDonnell, telling tales about him to uh, Eduardo. Naughty, 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 naughty! So Dave Colwyn, Colwell, definitely a Bean Mason cult member. In at number two, Darren Barker. Go on. I feel embarrassed for you, Darren Barker, when I look at you, when I hear the stuff you come out with. When you went over to Germany knowing that you had half a hip. How can you go fight in another country knowing that you haven't done any road work and you're just basically there to come out swingers in one round and then take your money? How embarrassing. Well, fair play to you, you didn't take rematch. So, but Darren Barker. You're not a Bean Mason. You, you are not a Bean Mason cult member, no. You are a monitor lizard. So, but we've got a new member of the... A new member of... The Bean Masons. Chris Lloyd from Matchroom Boxing. You're a Bean Mason cult member. You get, you're, you're dripping wet to get in the Bean Mason. So, I, I've given you a free pass. You've been inducted into Bean Mason. So, Chris Lloyd, go on, get gone. Spencer Oliver. Woo, 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 woo. You, you're an original founder member at Bean Mason, so you're in there, Spencer Oliver. But 
you're bordering on monitor lizard behaviour, but you're definitely a cult member. Matthew Macklin, you're definitely a cult member. His legs are shaky, Adam, his legs are shaky! Matthew, when you first came on the scene as a commentator, you were a breath of fresh air, but somewhere along the lines, you, you know, you, you know, you, you, you ended up a made guy. You ended up made into the being, being cult, the cult of being. You, you ended up inducted into it, and it, it's all the, it's all got a bit cloudy and a bit misty since then. And you're not even it to miss. You are a poor pundit. The bias from you is out of control. So Matthew Macklin, you're definitely a Bean Masons member. God. Johnny Nelson, what can we say about this man? He's always there or thereabouts, isn't he? He probably does the ritual, you know when you when they prick your finger and all that, when they induct you. Johnny, you, <laughs> you are a cult leader of the Bean Masons. You're trying to change it into the Johnny Masons, the Johnny Nelson Masons. You are a company man and you are out of control. These are just a couple of things that Johnny's come out with over the years. <laughs> Tackham at 12 days notice fighting Joshua is like George Foreman and Evander Holyfield rolled into one. Conor McGregor beats Mayweather down the, down, down the straight in the championship rounds. Championship, were it for a belt that? Oh my god! Oh my god! Kel Brook, Kel Brook beats Triple G and Amir Khan uh, beats Canelo. What? What what planet are you on, Johnny? What planet are you on? And Tony Bellew's footwork and his technical ability is better than Usek. An Olympic gold medal. He's won everything as an amateur. And, you know, he, he cleaned out the division. Undisputed. At cruiserweight. Cleaned it out. Cleaned it out. But yeah, Tony Bellew is better, technically. And better footwork and more power. And because Tony fought us in every way in ABA, he's got more power than Usek. Joe Joyce runs over Tony Bellew, but look what Usek did to Joe Joyce. Took him to school, Johnny! Took him to school! But of course, you know all this, Johnny, don't you? But you have to go with what you're told to say because I've heard back. So, Johnny, you're embarrassing. I don't even know how you've held a job. Well, we know why you got that job at Sky, don't we? We know, don't we? So we don't even need to go there, don't we? But Johnny Nelson, you're definitely a Bean cult member. You probably do it, like I've just said, you probably induct him in. Then we've got the man himself. Bean! Run a bean, could have been, should have been, never been. Baked bean, creepy bean, beanie. Rumpel stilt skin, we're on to you. And your laptop in. Spin Doctor, the Dungeon Master, whatever you want to call him. Jigsaw sidekick out saw, but Adam Smith, you are a scary mofo. Very, very scary. I'm frightened to death of you. But please stop. Please stop with all these words you're coming out with. Rough, tough, rugged, durable, compelling, all action, added spice, sizzling, game, he's game. Please stop it. Please stop it, Adam Smith. Old Rumpel Stiltskin. Tony Bellew. The disappearing man. The man that's not took a belt off a champion amateur or professional. Oh my god. Oh my god. How do you put your pillar on? Your head on pillar at night, Tony. So, Tony, I know you're watching, but you can't ring up Dennis Hobson complaining now because I'm not working with Dennis. I might eat future but I'm not speaking to him at the moment so you can't ring him can you? And you can't go telling tales to board about what I do or all like that because I ain't got a board licence. I can do what I want. I'm my own man unlike you. Running around saying match him. Yeah, he's signed for us a few months ago. Oz? Who's this Oz Tony? Who is this Oz? And yeah, he's been a great he's been a great fight. We love him to death here at Sky. Tony, you're not Sky. You're not Sky. You're just a guy that piggybacked in and piled Eddie Earn up. You're an embarrassing mate. Go on, disappear. Make sure you get home to your family safe though. We don't want you complaining to anybody, do we? Hey Tony, come see me. Who else we got on here? Let's have a look. Oh my god, we've got Steffi Bull. Steffi Bull, I'm giving you your Bean Mason pass, you're inducted in, you're free to go. Steffi, 
what can we say about you? First of all, that's not even your real name, so that's a bit fraudulent, isn't it? A bit like your teeth, but Steffi, you've got to stop it with this retweeting. You're putting tweets out on Terry Harper's account, then you have it, then you just take tweeting her back. Why would you do that? Because you run Terry's account, because you said in a Sky interview that you run a social media, so you're having conversations with yourself, and for that behaviour, you're getting inducted into Bean Masons, because, you know, it's all a bit odd, isn't it? It's oddballsareus.com, isn't it? So, Steffi, you're in the Bean Masons cult. You know, you've been inducted in. Johnny will induct you in, prick your finger, and uh, Bob's your uncle, isn't it? But it, it, it's become embarrassing, but... Retweeting everything that Dazone do, Matchroom do, Michael Buffer, even retweeting Lawrence Coley tweets. Steffi, you're trying too hard, mate. And do you know what? Do you know Eddie Earn? Do you know when he's with his real mates? I've been told he sits and he laughs at things like that. So have a bit of pride for yourself. Would you get Peter Fury putting tweets out like that about Savannah Marshall constantly? Hey, or Mark Tibbs about Billy. Yeah, Mark Tibbs and Joe Gallagher, people like that, and, and retweeting everything that Eddie earned. They'll stop it, Steffi. Please, please stop it. But all of you people in the Bean Coulson, in the Bean, in the Bean Masons, you all need a bit of help because what you do when you get your tongue up somebody's bum, you see Eddie Earn when he poos, it comes out in his bum. When you put your tongue uh, up that hole, looking for Eddie's G spot. When you go home to your wife, you don't kiss her with them lips, do you? Any of you? You know why? Because you get shit on end of your lips. And I've got a, a solution to that. Do you know what you need? TCP. What you do, you pour it in your mouth, gargle it, but you do 50% water, 50% TCP in a glass. Throw it in your mouth, spit it out, and the stronger it gets over the coming weeks, what happens is, it's like neat TCP, it kills germs straight away. The more it burns, it kills it straight away. So that's what you need. You need some TCP, I'm afraid, chaps. But it's going to be interesting to see how all you Bean Mason cult members back up this show here. The Dillian White pay-per-view. Dillian White headlining. Not fought for a European or a world, been knocked out twice. Fighting a guy who was 42 in September, who's already knocked him out once. 20 quid pay per view. Chief support, Fabio Wardley, white collar fighter. Who, who's doing all right, but let's have it right. He's from White Collar and he's Dillian White's fighter against Eric the school teacher, Melina. What's he, about 40 year old? Then we've got Campbell Hatton. Who would probably be better served helping Josh Warrington's card to try and build Josh Warrington up as a pay-per-view star. Because Josh Warrington's, he's undefeated and he's gone through every single level, beat everybody he's fought. But I don't see him being pushed for a, for a pay-per-view fight. Same as I didn't see Callum Smith, who, who ended up going through all levels in Ring Magazine champion. He never got pushed for a, for a, a pay-per-view fight, did he, Callum Smith? So... Why are you building up Dylan White as this big pay-per-view monster in his six pay-per-view? Not fought for a European title yet! Not Wembley back Joshua for four belts! Do you see where I'm coming from? Josh Warrington's won everything! And you're not building him up for a pay-per-view. You're putting him in with a guy who in November weren't even ranked in the top 15 in the IBF. Fights a guy 28 and 10. And all of a sudden, he's dropped in at number 10 in the rankings. Oh, my God. Josh will dust him down, but he deserves better. He deserves better. You're parking him up. I don't know what you're doing with Josh Warren, but it's shocking. You, this is a kid here that can sell out Ellen Road. He can sell out Ellen Road when we get back. Ellen Road, who can do that? It should be pay-per-view, Josh Warrington. Are you out of your mind, Eddie? Jeez, a Dylan White pay-per-view is six. Don't even get me started about rematches. Every time Dylan White loses, it's a rematch. You know, we're talking about rematches. And we're talk when he's in close fights, we're talking about rematches. But Ted Cheeseman, Eggington, Sam Eggington didn't get his rematch. And everybody said they could flip a coin who won. Harper Jonas, that never got a rematch, did it? It's not even mentioned. Coogan didn't even mention it to you in his IFL. What's going on, Eddie? It's a cult. It's a cult. And you're, and you're in that cult with these other nine, Eddie. All, all of you people 
all know your boxing, but you all should be embarrassed. I know boxing's one of them sports where we're passionate about it. And one minute we like somebody, one minute we don't. One minute we love somebody, one minute we don't. It's all ego driven and money driven, but the rules are designed for us all to fall out. But all these boxers on here, they've all won belts, aren't they, from Dave Caldwell as a central area champion. All the way through to Bellew winning a world title. All of them know their boxing. They must be having their heads in their hands knowing that they've got to kiss arse and go home to the missus. But remember, you can get it from any petrol station, any corner shop, any Asda supermarket, TCP. It's quite expensive from corner shops. It's about 3 95 I prefer to go to Home Bargains in Denham because it's only £1.50. That's what I use every day, and I don't rim anybody because it kills bacteria. All right, but this I can't listen. It's embarrassing what's going on. So it is what it is, isn't it? But we've covered everybody, haven't we? We, we know who the Bean Masons are. Dave Colwell, mole in the hole, Eddie's eyes and ears. Got a little bit of a competition. Two seconds. Work out who's controlling the area. We organise a straightener. You know who the fuck I am? I'm the fucking main man. You've got until Friday. If I don't get my money, you're fucking dead. I will control of the area. Gatesbury's gonna put you in an hole. The London firm know now. Yeah, that would have caught me. I'm sorry it's coming to this song. But we've got to fight fire with fire. But that one is mine. Come on then, let's fucking have you! We're looking at the centre, aren't we? Six o'clock. Scrapyard. Don't be carrying, because I won't be. I work for pretty boys, so you stay away. Maybe I just walked in. You've got problems. Oh. Tyson Fury told me to buy this car. I said, get a Toyota. The best four wheel drives ever. Big Land Cruiser man Toyota, isn't it? Right, competition. I think this is its third pair, is it? Size 7 to 12. I think they're about a like, tennis shoe. I'm a night man myself, but. The winner of the competition has to log on and send me a screenshot that he logged on because they like to send you emails and stuff like that. But uh, the, the question is this, this is the question. Tony Bellew has four wins over world champions, former, current and future. Right, former, current and future. On his CV, David, David Hay held together by Papa Mache and masking tape from Bullseye in Edlington. Uh, Elundu Macabu, he weren't a champion when he beat him, but he went on to win a title. Who was the other former champion? He was a former champion who he beat. Tony Bell, your first person, porky corner at mail.com email, gets a pair of them. Alright? Once you send me a screenshot, the first person. So be quick. Be quick. You should all get this one pretty easily, but you've got to be quick, alright? Because there's talkers and there's prawn cocktail walkers. I think that's about it really. Big shout out to uh, RDX, who do gloves and that used to sent me this sweatsuit, so it's the first time I've had it on. Had a little, a little bit of a uh, bit of a trot today, or a fast walk, should I say? But uh, that's about it, really. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Don't forget to contribute at least two quid. Just put two quid into into a boxing asylum. You know how to do it. Give all lad. Give, give them two quid if. If 100 of you give 2 quid, they've got 200 quid in part, they've got a bit of expense money, they've got a bit of summer. There's no money in this what we do, but if you can get a bit of summer, like a few free gifts or anything like that, you can do it as your passion, can't you? Or even if you're getting a few quid, it's for your time and effort. So help them out, because they're there every Sunday, rain or shine, they never let you down, alright? Peace out. I'm uh, Stu Curry, I'm uh, boxing Easter Sunday, uh, BBF light heavyweight title. This will be my fourth uh, title fight in as many weight divisions. I've obviously won a welter, light middle, super middle. Now I'm stepping up to uh, light ever, taking on Dave McSween for the uh, vacant BBF light heavyweight title. Been in the game since I was like 17, uh, boxed amateur in the army, come out of the army, had a couple of years out. 
got a girlfriend, my, my wife now, she had a baby, so I got back into boxing. Um, I was going to go pro, but I was working, I was earning more scaffolding to be fair. Um, so then I went down the BBF route, which is like unlicensed if you like, but white collarish, whatever you want to call it. Um, obviously, then I've won titles in them three weight divisions, so I'm hoping to get me fourth now. Stu, Red Hot, Cody. How, How you doing, mate? mate? Yeah, good, mate. Yourself? I am. I'm well. I've just been enjoying it down here. I uh, obviously I used to train on the other side of the, this gym. Yeah, Oliver's was it? Uh, no, it wasn't Oliver's then. It was uh, it was Arrow's. Right. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Top of the road. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. So uh, we, that's where we started. Right. And uh, you've been here a fair while yourself, mate. Yeah, I've been in and out of here about twenty years now, Lee. Well, the reason why I've come down is because March twenty seventh. Once again, you're telling me... It's my last fight. <laughs> you know, it definitely is this time, 100%. Fight number 55. 55, uh, in a fourth weight division, hoping to win a fourth title in that in a weight division. Mm -hmm. uh, one title's at Welter, light middle, super middle. So I'm stepping up actually two weights. No, it's, not, it's one weight, isn't it? Yeah, from uh, super middle from to, super middle to light, light heavy, yeah, yeah. Well, you've done it step by step. Yeah, yeah. I missed out on the middle weight, though, that was a killer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Didn't have the opportunities at that weight, but... Obviously, I've had to take this now, so... Well, yeah. um, where's it going to be held at, mate? It's going to be held at Broughton Rugby Club, Easter Sunday, which is March 27th, 2 o'clock, it's an afternoon show. Mm -hmm. uh, sold quite a few tickets as it happens, yeah. so doing well, doing and, well on the tickets. And your opponent? Is uh, Dave McSween, he's like a Welsh traveller, gypsy type lad, if you, yeah. if you, if you like. Uh, he's had over 100 bouts, 100 fights. He's well experienced? He's well experienced, he's 10 years younger than me, at 28, I'm... Nearly 39. You like doing it the easy way? I like doing it the easy way, yeah. yeah this, is Harvey, this is your lad here, Yeah, this it? is my lad. He's trained alongside me now for this fight. He's yeah. been in my corner for the last seven, eight, nine fights, isn't it, half? Something like that. So, so he's, he's part chance. of the team. Team Curry, yeah. He's part, of the, he's part of the game plan. And hopefully you're going to be, uh, now, once you retire... Yeah, you're putting all my efforts into him. Not just him, but other lads in the gym, like you've seen out there tonight. The Polish lads I'm sparring with. Yeah. Um, I've been I've been drilling them for about a year now, in and out of the gym, you know, just... Taking well, you, them on the you said you were looking to try and get St Boniface's re-established as oh, a, an amateur club maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's something I might I might start looking at because obviously it's a gym that's close to me out of box for them as an amateur. Yeah. And um, this this was actually the gym we trained in. Yeah. yeah under Harry Steve Ullman, uh, many many moons ago. So. Well, it's nice to be uh, the last one here then. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm the last man standing and sort of say yeah, definitely. So this is like say. It's a big ask, mate. You know, it is a big ask. It is, yeah. But uh, I've got that, I've got that amateur background, I've got that experience of having them fifty odd fights. I've, I've won more than he has. Yeah. It's been more of a bit of a journey, man. But it's that step up in weight, like you say, Lee. It does make a big difference. And the ten you? years in age, <laughs> you can turn, like you know, you can turn into an old man overnight, can't you? And uh, what do you reckon, Harvey? What do you think about your dad? Do you think he's a bit mad? He's cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> cuckoo, yeah, definitely. But he'll be there in the corner someday. Definitely the last one. Is, is Mike going to be in your corner as well? Uh, well, Mike's more of a promoter, so, stroke manager. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Even though like, he, he trains me in that as well. So. He's put the file, so he can't be biased. Fight. No, no, he can't now. So. And it is for the title? It is for the BBF British Light Heavyweight title. But, yeah. Well, listen, Stu, really good luck for the yeah. 27. Yeah. And hopefully next time I see you. I'll be, be a four way champion, champion yeah. yeah. Definitely. Uh, Harvey, take care, mate. Uh, <laughs> cheers, Lee. <laughs> you liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PorkyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>